hello friends welcome back to my channel so couple weeks before i posted a poll in my instagram and tell my followers to choose the theme of my next doll so finally a day later i get the result and dark handmade cyclops was the winner so after a, a lot of thinking about the colors, I finally came up with the idea to mainly focus on red, green and black colors in my doll. So now without further ado, let's get jump on to our video. So I have sculpted these three doll heads a long time ago and I use Ever After High Heads as well as Monster High Dolls because I wanted to add so much different variety to my cyclops doll collection so i'm using a lot of different kind of face sculpts for that so for this repaint i'm going to be using rochelle goyle's head and first i take my sandpaper and starting sanding the doll head to remove all of the bumps and make it very smooth and now it is looking good to me so now I'm taking this LED doll, I really like her grey skin tone and first I'm taking my hair dryer and removing the doll head. And after this I'll be also removing the doll original factory outfit. Then. I'm just moving on to the sculpting. So for that I take this two part epoxy sculpt. This clay is really amazing and really easy to work with. So I'm taking some similar amount of epoxy from both of the tubs and after this I'll be starting sculpting the doll hair. I just wanted to add so many details to the doll head and also wanted to add so many roses and some garden kind of texture to the doll head to make it really beautiful. So once I was making the doll hair, I was also really inspired by Betty Boop. Betty Boop is very beautiful and someday I will be definitely repainting her. She is very iconic. So adding details here and there and I think that this sculpting take a little bit longer than I have expected but I'm really happy with the result. And once it's fully dry then take your sandpaper and sand everything very well. Make sure to make it as smooth as you can. And once you are happy with the result, then take your acrylic paint and paint the doll head. And now I'm finally ready to start working on the doll face up and I'm so much excited for this one repaint. So first I seal the doll face twice with my sealant, then I'm taking my brown color of watercolor pencil and starting sketching the doll eye. I also fill the white of the doll eyes to make it easy to work with. Using some red color of soft pastel, I'm starting blushing the doll lips. And I also added some maroon and red blushing to doll face up. I wanted to make her as beautiful and as dark as I can. Seal the doll face again with your sealant and then I'm taking my black color of watercolor pencil and starting adding the eyeliner. 
I wanted to make this very sharp and very evil type. After this, I'll be sketching the doll iris. I'm defining everything using my acrylic paint. For the iris, I'm using green color of acrylic paint. And after this, I'm starting adding details to doll hair to make it very beautiful. So first, I'm going to be using some red color of acrylic paint to add so many details to my doll hair garden. After the red color is all done, then I'm using some green acrylic paint to add greenery to the doll hair. And using some yellow color of acrylic paint, I'm adding so many cute and small details to make it a bit realistic and cute. I also added some black color of acrylic paint to make it very dark. And now I'm all done with my doll hair. So last and but not least, I also added some yellow color of acrylic paint all over the plants to make it a bit lifelike. And now I'm finally back to my doll face up. So I've sealed the doll face again with my sealant and then I'm just starting adding blushing and I just wanted to make this as dark as I can. So first I take my black color of soft pastel and starting adding some black eyeshadow to the doll eye. And using some red color of watercolor pencil I started adding some veins to my doll face up. The veins will make the doll face a bit creepy and a bit cute. I also added some blue veins and I was really inspired by Jakey or she always include veins in her doll face ups and they are looking really cute. I will give the link to her channel in the description box of this video. I also added a lot of black blushing all over the doll face up to make it very creepy and I also added some red to the doll eyes I added some red blacks and brown colors to doll irises to make it very beautiful and lifelike At last I add the eye shine and added a few more details and now I'm finally done with my doll face up. So now I'm finally moving on to the doll outfit and guys I'm not good at explaining this outfit details because it's very messy when I work on doll outfits but you guys can see that what I do and my doll outfit. Using some mesh fabric, I made a lot of ruffles and then I'm just adding them directly to the doll outfit. 
and believe me guys i made a lot of ruffles and it take a lot of time and patience but i think that the end result was very amazing and i was really in love with that And after a million times later, I am finally done with the red layers of my doll outfit and I added two layers of mesh ruffles and it is looking very gorgeous. So I am just taking some black beads and I am just adding them directly to the doll to make it very beautiful and elegant. And once the beading is all done, then I just have to add a lot more things because you guys know that I'm always very extra. So I take some tiny beads and starting adding this directly to the doll neckline. I don't know if you guys can see this in camera, but I added a lot more tiny details all over the doll outfit so now i also wanted to add some garden kind of texture to the doll outfit so i take a lot of green beads flowers and artificial things and starting adding this directly to the doll outfit And I'm simply using hot glue gun for that because I don't have patience to sew everything and it take a lot of time. So using hot glue gun is the easiest way to add details to your doll outfits. I think that this part was really fun because you just have to be creative and add them whatever you want. After a few more details here and there and I'm finally done with the doll outfit. I think that this came out very beautiful and I think that this is one of my very elegant doll outfit and I'm really happy about this. So now I'm just moving on to the doll shoes. So I take this monster high shoes and I'm just simply painting them using some red color and black color of acrylic paint. And now I'm finally done with my doll shoes and I think that they came out really beautiful. Using my hot glue gun, I glued some hair directly to my doll head. And after this, I added some more details to my doll to make it a bit extra. And then I put the doll head and body back together and then I'm finally done with my doll. I'm really happy that how she turned out. I'm really in love with her outfit and the overall look of this doll. I would never expect that I will make this kind of doll and this is really amazing. I added some curls to doll hair off screen and what do you guys think about her? What is your favorite thing about her? I think that I really love her outfit and her hair. And if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, like this video, share this video and also follow me on my Instagram. And I will see you guys very soon with a very amazing video. Goodbye.